Hello Advent, my name is Roberto Vivanco. And I'm Cameron Graham Vivanco. We're so thankful to be here with you at this Wednesday Word. It was wonderful to get to be with you this last Sunday and to share with that yummy brunch mm -hmm. uh, some of the ministry that you helped make possible down in Ecuador. And today we want to help you to find a way to put uh, your faith into practice. As you all know, we live and work and minister with your help and support in Quito, Ecuador. The Vivanco family and Laura and Jorge and the Seves family, and we get to do that together in Education Equals Hope and how Education Equals Hope supports the ministry at Casa Gabriel. The stories of faith out of those young men um, in our own lives and the lives of many that we get to be a part of, we have seen over and over again God's faithfulness. And someone recently asked, how do you create that active faith? Cameron, what in the world? How in the world did you get all the way to Quito, Ecuador? What a great question for another time. Uh, but there are five things that someone recently laid out, uh, very simple, beautiful, easy, almost checklist things to mark off to make sure that you're, that you're doing in your life to encourage your own faith growth and development. The first one is practical teaching. We all need help knowing what to do with what we're learning in scripture. That, those handles, this is what scripture says, and this is how to do it practical, to, to live it out practically. So we need that practical teaching. Two, we need provid pay attention to the providential relationships, that God brings the right people into our lives at the right time to keep our eyes open for, for who those people are, and sometimes we are that person for others. Three is our own private spiritual disciplines. Daily prayer, the, the prayer work offers incredible options and in, in morning prayer and evening prayer, and family devotionals and Compline, your own spiritual disciplines that turn things from I should do this, I ought to do this, to I want to do this. I want to do these spiritual disciplines because I know that I'm a better person when I do them and my faith grows. The fourth one are the pivotal moments in life. Those faith stories um, get wrapped around pivotal moments. God uses sometimes they're lovely, wonderful, exciting things. Graduated from high school, graduated from college, the birth of a child. Sometimes they're hard moments and tragedies. But those four things, practical teaching, providential relationships, private spiritual disciplines, and those pivotal moments. Those are four of the things. But the fifth one that I really want to talk about today and encourage you is your personal ministry, how you're living out your faith, how you're putting your faith with it's something we believe, but it's not actually following Jesus unless we put it into action. What is the personal ministry that you have that you know where you're serving? That could be right here in Spartanburg, that could be through a ministry of the Church of the Advent, that could be another nonprofit, that could be coming down to Ecuador, hint, hint, um, being a part of short term mission with us. Really, the sky is the limit, but you have gifts and talents, you have skills and abilities. Resource, financial resource, helps spin all of those things but your heart connecting to someone else's heart through relationship. And really that's what personal ministry is about, is that personal connection, that relationship. And you've heard us say lots and lots of times, life is about relationships. And when you have your own ministry that you are involved in, that you're excited about, that you get passionate about, and it's not just ministry and those people anymore, this is life. That is a catalyst for making your own faith grow, putting your faith into action is a catalyst and then you watch your faith muscle grow bigger and stronger and you do more and more. The Advent does a great job of all of these five catalysts of things to do and we can all continue to grow in them. So this Wednesday we just want to encourage you in your own personal ministry what that ministry is, if you don't have one, to find it. I'm sure that the staff at the Advent, and Ned and Paula and Zach and Caroline, there are all sorts of resources that help you find your personal ministry, either within the church or in the larger community here in Spartanburg or further afield in Ecuador. 
We want to encourage you to grow your own faith by putting your faith into action. We love you, Advent. We appreciate you more than you have any idea, and we hope we get to see you real soon in Ecuador. Thank you. God bless you.